Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to Game 2 between Lin and Remind. I'm pretty sure we're going to play with my friend Trump Pets on YouTube. Um, my fellow commentator has commentated Game 1, it's an epic game on uh, Total Rock. And uh, I'm going to be failing up on well, Game 2. I right, right, right. enjoyed Game 2 as much as I did, uh, in Game 1 at least. Or some Game 1 is good. Game 2 is good as Game 1. Uh oh, my, oh, my hard drive is lagging, which means I have to upgrade to a. Uh, Solid state hard drive or something. Maybe I can do raid or uh, or something. I got uh, something got going my way because I'm my setup is not supposed to lag like this. Uh, maybe I have to run too much crap running on the background. <laughs> but anyway, the Blade Master is gonna go inside and we're gonna, help, we're gonna see a similar build from Remind, like in game one. We're gonna see uh, just a a DOS, standard DOS build. And here comes the and a burn. <laughs> no, we're complete. The cancels the. Uh, uh, I think Link forced the Momo to cancel anyway. Now, now he's gonna block. Use this play match to the getting away the wisp to block the, the, the location of the Momo. Nicely done. Remind is gonna get annoyed. I'm really annoyed right there. Um, no dust yet for either players. It's w way too early in the game, so um, you cannot grab dust out of, out of, <laughs> out of the shop yet. But the play is gonna try to get some wisp kill. Get a wisp kill right there. It's really nice. And he's going to continue to block this location of the Asian War. <laughs> this is really annoying. Uh, and <laughs> Demon Hunter is going to try to just get the Blade Master out of there. Otherwise, I don't think this third Moomo is going to go up. Uh, <laughs> without Moomo, um, I mean, for the Fondonado build, you really need Moomo in every game because uh, you cannot uh, you cannot face uh, three or four grounds and a Blade Master push because you're really light on the infantry early game. And I think last game Remind went for Naga Sea Witch, was, which is uh, kind of uh, uh, unorthodox. You don't you normally see a Beastmaster in that case. And it looks like the orc, the grounds are just wandering around doing nothing. They should be creeping right there, especially if you know where the Demon Hunter is. We're under attack! But anyway, we're gonna see. <laughs> I think that tree, if that was, um, that, mini, that yellow dot is on my mini map was the Asian War. It was a move after I was, a, I was build, wasn't even uh, used to creep. Remind does, does a lot of different things than uh, normal Night Elf. We would get attack. two archers or more archers facing the Blame Master. Normally, the Blame Master would have. Uh, right up those archers uh, anus <laughs> yes I'm gonna say ass but I'm gonna say anus yeah right up those archers anuses and just stick that big sword in there and <laughs> have the archers pay for getting out of the Asian wars because archers are way really easy to go down against the blade master blade master you can just go in there and like f four or five chops later the archers go down goes down especially with the uh, combination wind walk and the crit critical strike and still no level 2 blame master I, I'm wondering what is Lin thinking about uh, have a three grounds and where'd the fourth ground go um, Lin has enough food and money he doesn't he's not getting a fourth ground for some reason he, he feel like he doesn't need it um, he feel like he could have should have gotten a raider would be more effective the move also continue to be worked on. We know some issue of wind is going to be constructed in the background uh, outside the Blade Master. And now the <laughs> Green Master is forced to drain his uh, resource against this uh, orc push. I don't think Lin's researching pillage, um, but the grounds are going to get additional resources. Oh, here's the Beast Master I was looking for in game one, but it turned out to be uh, like a Sea Witch. I think in game one, <laughs> the reason the reason Lin, uh, I'm sorry, Remind went for. Um, we went for it. Naga Sea Witch is because Lin has surrounded the <laughs> surrounded the tavern, and <laughs> if he's a beast, if, he's a, if it was a beast master, he would be really screwed. And uh, Naga Sea Witch can fight her way out of it, really, the, using the code arrow, whatever you call it. And apparently, YouTube doesn't recognize my awesome video setting. I'm gonna show you re real quick here. Whoa, where am I going? All right, here we go. Video setting. Yeah, all the all the quality is high now and the resolution the highest is the Warcraft 3 gets and the video vi YouTube doesn't recognize that vi video setting it will go up to 1080p it's really uh, upsetting because <laughs> each video uh, I'm uploading on YouTube each video is about 800 meg megabytes um, and uh, YouTube does only recognizes that 1080p therefore um, it's really 1080p really would have gotten me 400 megabytes per, per, per file and it's really upsetting that um, I'm doing all this and it takes We're years complete. to upload and still it's only half as good. But anyway, I uh, hope YouTube is going to fix that and uh, I hope they have a lot uh, better quality. 
And Shadow Hunter's out. Well, wait a minute. What? What? Oh, we're gonna see Shadow Hunter. Did it, what, what's going on here? Um, all right. That's a suicide. <laughs> Feel off to me. That was definitely a suicide right there. Just getting a Shadow Hunter versus this Bows build. It's a half a useless that Shadow Hunter, except unless the Shadow Hunter can get some of the we call that um, Serpent Ward. I've never seen that done before. Let's, let's see if, if anybody can put that off. It would be the, it would be the <laughs> formal team of Orc. Man. See, this is what I meant. This is why you, exactly why you can get Archer to the Orc. Because the Playmaster is a strong sword. Uh, Archer, Archer is the. No, I was going to make a really, really bad joke. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Okay, a blade master played top down on the auction. Wow. All my all that about twenty four hundred dollars doesn't buy you um doesn't buy you a lag video apparently. Blade Master purchased a freaking staff of teleportation. This is wild, wild stuff over here. <laughs> what is what is Lin doing? He's just spending money on nothing apparently. Of course in game one he creeped it like Two thirds of the map and still lost the game. He got like five hero kills We're and still, under uh, still wasn't able to keep up with the DOS. But anyway, this is a uh, uh, really I'm, I'm about to see a Shadow Hunter this is the none of DOS build. Um, looks like Shadow Hunter is going to stay at tier 2, maybe. We're gonna see a tier, uh, and then I'm sorry, level two, maybe a level three Shadow Hunter and do a front of push. Shadow Hunter is really standard versus uh, a, any other race or versus not elf uh, bears, We're uh, bears and dryers build. Um, this is really, not, <laughs> really uh, not uh, not likely the events will succeed. But uh, yeah, Lens Playmaster is still level two though. But the Playmaster wasting no time and just being annoying. And gets of course gets fair fired. That's not good at all. Spearwalker is out. Research of complete. course, this is uh, very standard. Lynn's getting an early level mail in. Wonder if he's going to use the fake peasants to protect him. Uh, and here comes the flame monster. Level up to level 3. Uh, low flame monster. Uh, 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 maybe uh, we can either. Uh, they're both going to be cold. But uh, that's her pick up the score feeling and uh, Pushing a lot of less of the ability, you know, the green man is creeping away at the edges and to the shop. You can see uh, this rock this rock golem is dropping really nice out of the uh, best rally more green man can get probably is the uh the heavy or um uh, Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot about the true shot or the whatever the flute of accuracy. 10% uh, bonus complete. on all range units. Wow, that's a hell of an item for for Night Elf at this stage, especially at with this build. Man, that's that's about a, a one free unit for every 10 unit you get. Um, save pretty much saves you <laughs> saves you a uh, what do you call it? Um, pieces of the moon. Blade Master is not doing much. I think Blade Master. Ooms, sorry about that. Blade Master is only level two still. Shadow Hunter is level three. Is uh, still getting up. Um, let's see if Blade Master comes over and level up after killing the Rocket. Blade Master definitely hit level three. Actually, if he gets yep, there we go. Let's see the item. Mana. Oh, mana stealing. It's uh, really nice to use on the Beast Master or the later Tinker. We're gonna see the Reminds me of the work in. Maybe we've got a couple of that uh, we call the uh, Ogre Mauler. I think we can not do that with this build. The Ogre Mauler takes a lot of food. If you think about it, uh, Ogre Mauler takes like four or five food. That's like two Tinkers. And, uh, and the two Tinkers can be really useful We're later on in the game. Uh, Ogre Mauler is a piece of, uh, piece of uh, meat and in, the front, in the front of the battle. The shots are gonna get focused on it. Probably gets chopped down. No, uh, I still don't think the pill is researched. Where's the orc coming from? The orc is going to run away from, from this TP. Here comes the Tinker. Maybe this Blade Master can get surrounded. Um, Blade Master can walk out or he can pop the potion like a ability. Blade Master will have enough mana though. So, um, can't see you later, buddy. Blade Master, oh, that's a missed micro from a Remind. He should have gotten the fairy, uh, fairy Fire on the Blade Master while he's revealed so he he can be revealed for for a little longer oh man that was that oh, that was the best. oh never mind it's a hawk okay the hawk can just reveal the blade master now i, I was really surprised that len didn't go for a 